Come on then, we're going to Agatha's house. Number 36. Right, I'm not entirely sure where this is. I'm loving the snow. Why? It just doesn't snow enough anymore, like where I live in England. There's just not enough snow. I want to live in a place that looks like this all the time. Oh, here we go, number 36. Now, before we go in there, I just want to check, is there going to be any bonus items anywhere? Mm, nope. Right, we're headed in. Here it is. I'll ring it once more and then go in. This is already looking very shady. Yeah. Is there anyone here? If this was me, if this was me, I'd just, I'd, I'd just leave. I'm sorry, if, if someone didn't answer the door, I'd leave. Oh yeah, you know when a corridor is crooked off to the side, you're gonna have a bad time. Take the knife, mate. An old wood stove. Hmm, the coffee pot is still hot. Also, she might still be here. Okay. An old sink. So the running theme is everything's old. <laughs> He's very old. That's the thing about David Cage games, is there's always kind of a theme of like birds and stuff, and birds in cages, is that because he's called David Cage? Are those... are those crows in the cages? Ah, the crows? That's the... because remember, there's a crow that's been keeping its eye on us. Eesh, pretty gloomy pets. Are you even allowed to keep crows in cages? Is that even a thing, is it? What's this? Old wicker work chest of drawers. Is anyone at home? Oh, well, this is looking a lot less gloomy compared to the other two rooms we've just been in. Oh shit. Are, are you Agatha? Why do you want to talk to Agatha? Father Marcus Kane sent me here. I have a problem. I need to talk to her about it. A problem? And who on earth doesn't have problems? It's the old woman of the conjuring. Or oh, insidious. Sorry, it was insidious. She's blind. One need not have eyes to see. Hmm. Be kind, young man. Push me over to my birds. It'll be more comfortable for us to talk over there. What, you want to be next to the... the cage room? The cupboard is locked. Is this the toilet? The en suite? Yes, it is. Brass bathtub? An antique. 
must be at least a century or two old. Oh, found a secret. We well, found a secret by looking at the ghetto toilet. Right, let's push over to the birds. Maybe. Maybe the birds are like a sign of protection and like evil can't hear you when you're near them? Possibly. I've got no idea really. Right, hold on two seconds. Can I, can I drop her? I can't drop her. Once you've got a hold of a chair, that, that's it. I think horror films have told us that old women in wheelchairs are absolutely hideous. The bird is such a unique animal. It can spend its entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. You here, young man. Tell me, what is your cage like? I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. Sounds like a rather commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? Definitely not. Vision. I had a vision of another man making exactly the same movements as me and of a little girl who called out to me for help in the cupboard you will find a little bag of seeds be a good boy bring some to my little darlings will you as long as you'll start helping us Pretty bird. I think there's only four in here. Not all of these cages are full, or are they? See, there's no, not a bird in that one. I think there's only one over the far side of the room now. This one. Oh no, there's not. There's only three. Have you experienced any other strange manifestations since then? Have you had any odd dreams or visions? Yes. I see things as if the reality in front of me was deforming, becoming horrible. Are you able to attach anything concrete to your vision, such as a symbol or sign, maybe a word? When I regained control of myself after the murder, this symbol had been cut into my wrist with a knife. She can't see me. Oh, she can't. Two open jaws. Oh, dear God. What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, there you go. What does it mean? One way for me to be sure. Please push me into the sitting room. some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. Right, well, we know where the kitchen is, so we'll go and get that first. We'll get the matches and then we'll find the candles. I don't know where the cupboard is, like. Maybe it's in the room that we've just left. Oh, don't go back in there. Are we having some sort of seance to find out what the, the girl in my dreams are. Is. Who is she? Who is she? 
Right, candles, candles, candles. Right, we're looking for a cupboard. Hmm. Ooh. Stuffed out. Oh, it's in our bedroom, man. Remember, the cupboard was locked before. No? No. Aha, what's this? Oh, found extra light. So generally, when you find, like, symbols of God and protection, that gives you an extra light? Hmm. Where's the pet? Where's the cupboard? The cupboard wasn't in the. It wasn't in the kitchen, was it? There was no cupboard there. We'll double check. We'll double check. I'm. 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 Controls are back to front. What's going on here? There's, there's one problem with the control scheme, and that's a nothing in particular. And that is that games that have perfected this this type of movement scheme with like fixed cameras up on the analog stick should always be move your character where he's headed. This game doesn't do that, but that should always be the case. Nah, it's not yet. Hmm. Can't see any other cupboard. Oh, does she mean a chest of drawers? That's not a cupboard, mate. That's a chest of drawers. Oh, there you go. Your instructions were inaccurate, you old bitch. <laughs> I'm not liking what this is building up to. I can sense evil in the air. Perfect. We're almost ready to begin. Turn off the light. Close the curtains and sit down next to me. Is this necessary? Oh no. Gonna be absolutely pitch black. Is that it? Did we do everything right? Excuse me, could you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? Turn off the light. Close oh, there the it curtains, is. And sit down next to me. The light switch over here. Ping. Looks like a titty. Why are you light switch um, titties? Titties everywhere. The only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. But there still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. Do you, or do you not wish to try it? Yes, I do. 
Give me your hand. Close your eyes. I want you to empty your mind and open wide the doors to your unconscious. And let me enter there. Open your mind. We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes. I want you to return to the restaurant just before the events begin. Evacuate all extraneous points. Where are you, Lucas? I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant. This is, in fact, quite awesome. I've gone into the restaurant. What do you see? I see some customers. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the counter. Concentrate, Lucas. Now, walk to your table. Maybe we're going to see the guy at the table, because there was definitely someone sat there with us, remember? I'm standing next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet? Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. Stay calm, Lucas. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. I'm... I'm in the restroom. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He doesn't suspect anything. And you, Lucas? Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god, I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. I I can't control my steps. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. Mm. What else do you see? As I told thee before, I am subject to a tyrant. A sorcerer that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading. Yes. Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need Come on, concentrate. To it's one of my favorite books. A shame so few people read Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, it's just that... The man sat down at my table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The 
waitress. It's as if she didn't see the man, like hmm. he was invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now, what's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? Do you We're going to get a say power of magic. No, I don't. Listen, um... You're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. has brought him his coffee but she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it she doesn't know that he's there she can't see him he's speaking from your body isn't he and now what's happening listen I don't want to be rude but I'd rather eat alone Feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. He's going in the bathroom. He's going out the rear door. I oh, know he's not. Follow him. Your mind and his are now linked. You can see what he sees. You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me! Exactly. You made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to know! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. What, what, what she got to investigate? There's, there's nothing else that she can investigate. Just tell us now. Stop playing games with me. I think I want to go to Lucas's apartment. We'll stick with Lucas and then we'll do callers after. Shit, it's him. Get away. Go on, dodge a baby. Cool, like the Matrix. Nice. 
Come on, Lucas, bro. Shit, I've got a bad input there, but I, I saved it. Is this even really happening? It's getting faster. I don't like it. How are those? What else can he throw? He's got to run out of stuff now. One baby. Come on, man, you've got the power. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like it when it switches between them because I changed my hand position to do different things. Get to the bathroom. Is it he's going to the bathroom? Last one. No, he's not. He's going. He's going to the bedroom. Go on. Why do I always get an itchy face when I'm in intense moments? I can't take my hands off the control pad. Shit, doesn't he? Nah, this is a dream. This is a dream. There's no outside of my apartment. What's going on here? Field. Field. There's no way I failed, I was absolutely beasting it. I couldn't press that any faster. Maybe you've got to keep it in the dark blue. Well, we've learned something new there. Man, this shit is ridiculous. You have no power over me. How are we going to escape this? There's no bloody floor. Just act like Neo from the Matrix and fly. There he is. Get him. I forgot which one's his apartment. The tenants' names are on the bells. No, 
Lucas doesn't live here. Lucas Kane. That's it. That is in. He's hanging off his off his balcony. Go in. Just go in. Kick the Lucas. door down. Lucas, open the door. Lucas. I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Lucas is Get ready. Home. I've got no other choice. Go on, break it down, baby. There he is. That's his hand. Beasting it. We'll call let him die. And yes. that's how my story ends. Officially they called it a suicide. What? I'll never find out the truth about what really happened to me in that restaurant. What? That cold January night. What? I'd never know who it was that killed But do you know what it is? I think I think um that there's a there's, there's a problem with the control scheme or something. Because I beasted that. Look, look at that. I was in the blue there. I was pressing it as fast as I could, and it I even the, the cutscene even started to pull Lucas up. And then he said, "Oh, he's dead." What? 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 The actual fuck? Bullshit. Lucas came. That's it. And it happened to me. Do you know what it is? It happened to me. Remember when I was Lucas and I was flying out the door, and I, I was beasting it, and it said that I died. Now. Nah. It's wrong. The game is bullshit. If you're gonna put sequences like this in the game, at least make sure the controls work. Lucas? Lucas, open the door! Lucas! I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Lucas is in danger. I've got no other choice. Go on. I know where he is. We know the layout like the back of our hands. Lucas! Oh my god! There we go. Lucas, for God's sake, have you lost your mind? What's come over you? The walls, the walls were blown away, and the wind, the tempest, I... Why did you do this, Lucas? Why? Somebody tried to kill me. For and that's sake, why the Lucas, victims... There's no one else here but you and I. You were all alone when I arrived. All alone, Lucas. And that's why they think the victims committed suicide. What's happening to me, Marcus? I don't know what's happening. Because he makes them kill themselves after they've done the deed. Lucas. Everything will be fine. I'm going to help you. You'll see. Hmm. That's really interesting. So the reason why there's no other survivors and they've got no one in custody from the other murders is because they end up killing themselves because that guy leaves no loose ends. Oh damn! We've got a heavy rain cutscene, shower scene, get in! <laughs> Top tier game this like, this game is, this game is the best! Every David Cage game has got a, a cutscene, sorry. A sequence where you play as a naked lady. Every game should have a sequence where you play as a naked lady. I don't care what the context is. I've never been in this apartment before. Where's the, where's the phone? There it is. Sure took your time. There's a late night booty call. What do you got? I got nothing. Dead end. 
possible to ID the page marker found in the book in the restaurant. It's got a series of numeric codes written on it, but it just looks like a lot of numbers to me. I, I thought you might have some ideas. Why don't you fax it to me? I wasn't tired anyway, and I'm sure it'll make for good bedtime reading. Okay, I'll send it now. If you get any brainstorms, give me a ring. I'll be here for a while. Tonight's gonna be a long one. Okay, talk to you later, Tyler. The music's awesome. Right, so wait there, we need to be Tyler, don't we? We need to fax over this, uh... This slip. Normally, I don't like losing Sam home alone, especially now. This bookmark had me intrigued. I had a gut feeling that I was holding the key that would identify our killer. I felt like I was closing in on it, and I wasn't about to go home to sleep until I figured out what this paper meant. Fuck it, mate. I'm, I'm a, that's probably the best, the only thing he's good at is facts and documents. Everything else he's like terrible. I'll leave that on her desk. No, I won't. I'll just walk about with her for a bit. Look important. Look at me, I've got evidence. Right. Is there a secret in this room? Let's just check it out. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's a basketball. Was it? Yeah, we've already done that. Oh, what's this? Oh man, nothing but stock quotes. How can anyone possibly decipher these things? They are... Wait a minute. That's it. I gotta call Carter right away. So she's good with numbers, is she? Or maybe the R stock quotes. Well, it's a list of stock quotes, Carla. Our bookmark was printed in a bank. Of course. It's so obvious. How'd you figure that out? I opened the paper to the stock quotes page and it was it was right under my nose the whole time. Now we just have to figure out which bank printed it. I think I have an idea. I'll call you right back. Why can't we be in Tyler's house? And see him naked have a shower. We can be naked together. What the hell? Could that be at this hour? I'm not expecting anyone. I'm going to the door, me duds. Because why? Because she doesn't care. Oh, look. Where is the front door? Like this. Why well, are yeah, you can? You're in a tank top? What's the problem? Um, her bedroom is going to be over here, isn't it? Close, close, close. There. I do like the music in this game. It's like, it fits the scenes perfectly. I wonder if it was made specifically for the game. Can I get out there? Did I just knock the TV over? I was feeling kind of bored and thought as my official friendly neighbor you'd agree to share my book and this excellent bottle of friendship. In my capacity as your friendly neighbor, I wouldn't think of refusing your boring invitation or your really? excellent wine, Tommy. I'm busy? I imagine that even a die-hard bachelorette like yourself must have some wine glasses around here somewhere. Hmm. I think I do have some. Somewhere. Sit down, Tommy. I'll find him. Carla, what you doing? 
This guy's an absolute creeper. Do not let him into your house. She's gonna get absolutely mortal and not be able to do her job. So if you notice the music's like stepped up, it's getting sexual. Yeah. Oh he is he is he's a rapist. This guy is rapey as fuck. Look at that look at that rapist stay. A toast? Alright. What to? To love, what else? I'll drink to that. Unless he's gay. I didn't trust him. Don't like him at all. things at work pretty good this month I'm number two in my investment team in terms of annual profit not bad huh it gets on some of my co-workers nerves I've heard them bitching behind my back what the hell with them I'm doing what I like and you how are you business seems good every day in the papers they're writing about the rise in crime at least you must feel useful <sighs> not especially you know when you make your rounds and See ten year old kids in the street stoned on whatever. This guy certainly knows how to chat up a lady, doesn't he? Useless. There's more and more kids on the streets, and you you just don't have any concrete response to the problem. Other than prison. Sometimes it gets to me. I, I feel depressed. Are you still single? What's a beautiful oh, girl? No. What are you waiting for? Go find yourself a nice guy. I think he is gay, actually. If there's one thing New York has lots of, it's he is, hair. man. He's not interested in her knickers. I, I guess the desire is just not there. My last romantic experiences are total disasters. I'm not ready for anything, or anyone, just yet. Enough small talk. Look at what I brought. Tarot cards? Seriously? I'm going to read your future. <laughs> you mean you know how to use those things? I don't see the stereotypes. Sorry, I don't make the stereotypes. I just see them. When I was just a kid, she handed down her seeing powers to me. It really worked, you know. What the cards foretell always come to pass. Let's see if you're going to meet your true soulmate, or if you're going to die as a wrinkled old maid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Gypsy, tell me what I'm supposed to do. It's easy. First, take the cards and mix them up. Give it a good shuffle so there's no funny business. But it's gonna say she's gonna die. Take two cards. Do I get to pick which ones? Use the left analog stick to move. Press X. Okay. That one. I've got a natural affinity to that one. Ooh, it's this. The naked. Trust, trust me to pick the bloody naked lady in this one. There's going to be a dark period. An escape. A terrible danger. Take two more cards. What, what what did they have to do with the naked lady? This one, I've already got my eye on it. So these laser beams and this one here. You're not alone. You're following someone and he is disturbing. He hides a heavy secret. Take two more cards, please. We, we, we're we feeling considerably worse after having this guy around. It's hilarious. Oh, grim. Very grim. There is a curse. Great suffering and fear. I see dark death and distress. Yeah, 
guess just come to me whenever you need cheering up. <laughs> this is not turning out to be as much fun as I thought. It's okay, Tommy. Let's see what horrors my destiny holds for me. Here are two more cards. <laughs> wait there, wait there. Are we actually just going to turn over every single card? What's the point? What's the point of putting all these cards out if I'm going to turn them all over anyway? Right, I think this one's a good one. And... Oh, that looks a bit grim like. This one. One child. Two destinies. A path toward life. The other path toward... Death. Carla, I think we'll stop there. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. It's the first time I've ever read this sort of thing in the cards. I usually don't express anything like this. Don't apologize, Tommy. It's just a silly game. I never believed in fortune telling anyway. Well, I've got to get home. It's late. Hey, what? since when are you interested in investments? It's about one of my investigations. I thought maybe you could help me with a question I ah. had. I was wondering, is there a way to identify a bank from a list of stock quotes that they've printed? From your facts, no. But normally the original document is printed on watermarked paper showing a numeric ID code identifying the bank. The ID code is printed on a watermark? All right, I'll check our document to see. Thanks, Tommy. Good night. Good night, Carla. <sighs> ah, so Tommy was useful after all. That's it. I've got to call Tyler. The thing is, though, right? Why did he leave his tarot cards to, like, further torment me? Is my future that grim? You mentioned a child. I don't believe in this stuff, but it's always a little scary, whatever you think of it. Right, Tyler. My man. Yeah? Our bookmark should be watermarked with the bank's ID code. I'll check it out and call you right back. Nice. Now before I switch to him, I want to quickly check her cupboards. Because normally there's something hidden in like cupboards and stuff. I've already been in that one. Nah. Oh. Oh, she's got Nutella. Is she hiding secrets in the fridge? No secrets at all. Right, that's it. So, we got to check this, examine this for a watermark. Ah, the light. We'll put the light on so we can see through the paper. No? Move the light with the left analog stick. There it is. I think I found it. Tyler? I've got the code. You should have no trouble identifying which bank it corresponds to. This time we've got our killer. I think I'll pay a little visit to the bank tomorrow. You want me to go? No. No, I'd rather go myself if you don't mind. I'd like to see what our boy looks like. We'll meet afterwards at the station and compare notes. See you tomorrow, Tyler. Okay, see you then, Carla. Awesome. We'll go out to the bank. Yeah, this is Carla's case, so any important decisions I want to do with her. I finally convinced Marcus to let me go out. I'd slept most of the day. He'd stayed to watch over me. I needed to get out and get back in touch with reality. My physical condition was deteriorating rapidly. My mental state wasn't much better. I could feel myself slipping away. I knew that it wouldn't be long before I lost it. Hello, I'm Detective 
Detective Carla Valenti and NYPD. Huh. The police, they found me. Oh shit. Right, let's go. Quickly. Oh yes, she's in the bank, isn't she? That's right. It's too late for me to think about running. Really? Someone have to act act normal. Right, okay, let's sit down. Let's just sit down. Oh <gasps> hide that a piece of computer paper. I think I must have used it for a bookmark. Well hide it then. What the fuck? He's not hiding that bookmark. There, 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 there. Quick, 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 quick. Uh oh, I'd better try to hide this. Come on, it's not letting us do anything. <gasps> Didn't do it. Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. You are Lucas Kane, right? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Questions? What about? I'm working on a homicide case, and we have reason to believe that the murderer worked at this bank. What do you want to know? Could you Get confirm ready. that this list came from here at the bank? Will he say something about the watermark? Yes. The paper does come from here. It has our bank ID code and watermark. Is there a way to establish where it was printed from? The manager already filled me in, but maybe we can learn something more. This kind of paper is used by stock buyers to print out their quotes. There's about a hundred of them here in the bank. To tell the truth. This guy seems really tense. Probably nervous about being questioned by the police. Oh, what's going on? He's starting to, he's starting to bloody hallucinate. Is there a problem, Mr. Kane? Huh? Oh, no. No, sorry. Is there a way to determine where this particular document was printed out? What's his problem? Seems like my questions are upsetting him. No, not really. Our printers don't leave any identifiable marks. A witness helped us make a composite photo of the suspect. Would you mind taking a look at it for us? Shit, it kind of looks like us, but it doesn't. Hold it together. Hold it together, Lucas. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I feel tense. I've got to keep cool. Mate, you're gonna blow this. It kind of looks like this. Hey, this looks like a lot of people I know. It could even be me. <laughs> you're right, these composites can be a little vague. This guy looks a little bit like the composite. Maybe he's the one who... Possibly. I definitely am the one. Oh, it's a bloody beast. Yeah, should definitely take him in if he was that restrained. Are you sure you're alright? I, th I thought that... Excuse me. And he's got the bandages on his hands. Should see them. Have you noticed anything unusual here at the bank lately? They told me about what happened to this guy yesterday. I wonder if he's going to mention it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. 
Yes. I, well, actually, I'm susceptible to epileptic seizures. They're fairly rare, but they can be violent. In fact, I had one yesterday, and I'm afraid I put on quite a show. Perfect. That's a great cover. But that's about the only unusual thing that's happened here recently. That's strange. His forearms are Oh, damaged. shit. I wonder what happened to him. Did something happen to your arms? Just see, I'm a cutter. Oh, I had a stupid accident doing some home repair work. I guess I'm not much of a Mr. Fix-It guy. Is that you in the picture with the priest? Is he a friend of yours? Your brother. That priest looks a lot like him. Maybe a member of his family. She's good at her job, like, isn't she? That's my brother, Marcus. <laughs> Oof. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You seem a little peakish. I, I, I might have a little cold. He just straight out screamed in her face and she's like, are you alright? He's lying to me. I can smell it. Damn, maybe this is our guy right here. Stranger things have happened. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm just gonna go and splash some water on my face. Go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. Right now we get to investigate this. It's probably a good idea that we kept the paper with us because the paper is with us. We're not going to find it if we're her. He's acting so strangely. I better take a quick look inside his desk before it gets back. There ought to be some fingerprints on it. That'll make it easy to see if this is our man. Very clever. There's something written on the picture. LKMK, June 2003. Go and get some information. Nothing much of interest here. Check the drawer quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, I found it. She found it. Excellent. A torn piece of computer paper. I'll take that. Ho ho, we found it. We are the master detective. He's coming back, doesn't matter. We've got everything we need. Is that a different draw? Right, we'll just stand here, exactly where we were. Feeling better? Yes, thanks. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. We got him. It's really hard when you're invested in both the characters. Like we've just we've just shopped. <laughs> we've just we've just done an excellent job with Carla and shopped Lucas because he hid that thing in his drawers. He should have kept it on him. Well, that's been this has been an awesome episode. We've had some freaky shit going on, right? Next episode, I think we're going to, we'll do Tyler first to find out what he's doing in his apartment and then we'll go and um, we'll go back to Agatha's house because this will be the next day at 8pm. That's when we said we'd, we'd meet her. Right lads, hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.